This is a huge white Sprinter van, and that is my friend Shaggy. Hey, hey, Shaggy here, and this is my van. Welcome, this is my friend Shaggy's van. He lives inside of it for over a thousand days. Look at the few things we're gonna show you on this video. Number one, incredible kitchen. He's got an oven, he's got a stove, he also has a refrigerator. He's cut out this window back here, which I'll show you, but wait, come and join me back here. I'll show you his bed in a second. Now, I'm gonna show you the back, it's my favorite part of it. The back here has an incredible organization system. Shaggy is an incredible skier, and he has like seven pairs of skis. This setup back here is so well organized. Everything has a special place. I will show you that now as part of the tour. Join us for a tour of Shaggy's van. Come on in. How many days have you been living in this van? 1,217. Can we have a tour? Absolutely, come right in. Let's go. All right, this first area is the kitchen. What is going on? These are three gas burners up yep. top? Yep, we got three burner stove and an oven. And the oven works how? This is all propane? All propane. Really cool. Oh yeah. Can you show those spice containers? Yeah, so we got a little bit of cinnamon right here. So they're kind of like mason jars. So you can see what's inside them. And then I screwed them into the lids into the wood above. Really cool. And then how about these containers? Will you show what you did with these things? They are magneted in. So that way when I'm driving, there's no front to them and they don't fall off or anything. I but, love that. And then you can just pull them off really easy and you can see what's in them all the way down. Really Real nice. Real convenient. So, so I love this. Shaggy showed me these and they just, I don't know if you can tell, they just magnetically snap in, which I thought was so cool. That's really neat. Okay, what else can you show us? Can you show us the refrigerator? Oh, absolutely. We got a sink and a fridge right here. Excellent. Oh, well, let's look at the sink first. Let's look at the sink first. Oh, yeah. How does this, what, what is going on exactly? Where's the water situation? What is this? What's going on? Yeah, so I got a nice long extender on this guy, um, but I've got 33 gallons of fresh water, a tank right there, then I've got a pump, and so that way you can turn it on and go like this, or shower mode. Cool. Um, and Speaking of shower, water. you have a shower in the back that we're gonna check yes, out. Yes, I have an outdoor shower in the back. Oh, Great. Yeah. Wow, oh, the yeah. fridge is huge. I remember oh, yeah. saying this. That's enormous. Even got a little freezer up top. Even got a freezer. That's really cool. Storage over here? Oh, yeah. And so I got all my storage on magnet locks, actually. So if yeah, you see, I got, that got a magnet right here. Oh. And then just like that. So it's got a hook. So oh. that way, when it's closed and you're driving, it's not opening. And then you, just to open it, I've got a handful of magnets. Let me see the, the, the magnet mechanism here. Okay, really nice. Okay, great. Thanks for showing that. Oh, of course. These are power plugs over here? Or yeah, I got some on? USB ports. Okay, that's nice. And then I've got my battery gauge, so we're at 79.1%. Really? And we're currently collecting almost six amps, five amps of solar. Uh, it's pretty cloudy outside right now, but still collecting power. Amazing. How do you collect power, by the way? Yeah, so I got 400 watts of solar on the roof, and then I also have an alternator charger, which that means when the van is driving, my house battery, which lives over here, and the house battery gets charged. Cool. You're sitting down looking at this incredible view. What is this window? How did you do this? Yeah, I actually got this window from a junkyard of just another Sprinter van that was totaled. So I was able to take that window out and it was terrifying to cut the hole to put this in because that's a really big hole. And if you screw it up, you're not looking too good. You have to weld something back in or something. And now this is amazing. I was sitting in it. It looks so nice to look out, right? Oh yeah, it's great. So it's I see a lot view. of storage underneath there. What is this? This is a lot of your gear? Yeah, so we have the bed up here, it's in couch mode, and all below it we have storage. So I've got a lot of these mesh containers, they can, st stuff can hang underneath the bed. Mm. I got that water tank right here, you can see it. Right there. This so here's the water tank, got it, very oh, yeah. cool. Then down here we got bags and boxes, got a trash can and recycling can, got my work bag. Cool. Great. So this is really nice. Will you show us the back? Absolutely. Let's check out the back. Fantastic. What is this amazing setup? Oh yeah. I got the most important storage right here is all my skis. Yes. So I got room you have so for, many skis. Oh yeah. And poles up there. Got a bunch of that. Um, and you have I've so got, many skis. How many skis do you have? <laughs> I believe I have seven and a half pairs. That's crazy. Seven and a half. You love skiing. How many days this year do you ski? I think I'm at 78 right now. I've got a lot more skiing left to do. Really cool. All right. What else are we looking at? I see a toolkit. 
Yeah, I got a couple toolboxes. I got more mesh up in here. These are real nice to store things up in. Um, I got, there's the back of the water tank. This is actually where the propane lives in this box right here. Huh. So that way, if the propane were ever to release, release pressure from going up in altitude or temperature dropping and such, there's a hole in the bottom of the floor so the propane goes outside. And then I've got a shower. Here's part of it. Then the other part of it goes right here. So I got a shower head that screws in right there. And then I have a curtain that goes from the side to the side right there. Nice. So you can take an outdoor shower. Really cool. So what else? This is a shoe rack that's been set up or repurposed for storage? Yeah, shoe slash storage. Got just a lot of random stuff. We got a little light right here. That's nice. What is this out. up here? How'd you set this up? Yeah, so this is mesh. And basically when the bed is down, you can stuff, shove stuff in there. Oh yes, and you also told me that your bed can roll out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll show that real quick. Yeah, oh yeah. Shaggy's gonna go fold his bed down. Now I met Shaggy on the internet and he is a copywriter. He's been living on the road for as long as he said. We're in Vancouver, Canada right now, exploring and adventuring. He also came and helped me with a meetup last night. Let's look at this bed situation. All right, so this is how Shaggy can lay in his bed. This is his bed, which is so cool. Oh, this yeah. is great. And how big is the bed? Queen size. Queen size bed. And you said that this can pull out. So this platform, he can actually push it out. Oh, yeah. And what do you do? Like you look underneath the stars? Yeah, you get a pretty good view. That's, Here, I'll show you. He's gonna show us how this pushes out. Look at this. That's so nice. You can look out like this and you can sleep with a view. That is too cool. I love it. Really cool, Shaggy. That's awesome. Oh yeah. I love living in this thing. It's perfect for wintertime and for traveling all around. Thanks for joining me on a tour of my van.